I had a secret. Sex was supposed to feel good, but it hurt. The pain kept getting worse and I felt so frustrated, sad, and helpless. I thought, what's wrong with me? I was too embarrassed to tell my friends and family, even my partner. We didn't talk about it. But what would happen if the problem never went away? Would my partner leave me? Could I get pregnant or give birth? I felt so alone. To avoid sex and the resulting pain, I began to refrain from any activity that could possibly lead to sex, like going to bed together or undressing in front of him. Eventually, my partner asked, what's wrong? I couldn't keep my pain to myself anymore, so I shared my secret. Like many women, I suffered in silence for a long time before receiving an accurate diagnosis. The doctor couldn't see any signs of disease during my exam, so I was told that everything was normal. Does this mean it was all in my head? I finally found a doctor who diagnosed me with a pain condition called provoked vestibulodynia, or PVD. Once I received the right diagnosis, I felt the weight lift. Knowledge and understanding are the first steps in a woman's journey to recovery. Learning how the mind and body work together is key to managing and reducing pain. A study at the University of British Columbia compared cognitive behavior therapy and mindfulness meditation for groups of women with PVD. Researchers found that both are effective treatments. Both work to reduce pain, increase sexual satisfaction, and improve quality of life. Learning these approaches takes time but they have made me feel empowered and hopeful. My path to recovery started when I shared my secret. So talk to a healthcare provider and let's stop the silence together.